Pisces, welcome to your reading. We're going to take a look at past, present, future, along with clarifiers. Let's get into it. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Hope you're doing awesome. Spirit, angels, ancestors of love and light, we thank you for your help today with Pisces reading for whatever they need to know for the highest good. All right. Let me remind you that energies are fluid. Roles can be reversed, so take what resonates, leave the rest. And what's going on, Pisces? Oh, showing up. Three of Wands, waiting on something, huh? You see what you want, now you're just waiting on it to come to you. Followed by the Palace of Swords, unique to this deck. The Palace is where we go to learn the expert knowledge that we're looking for, the swords, the mind, the highest levels of intelligence, research, education, truth, clarity, followed by the Knight of Swords, taking hurried action in this direction, waiting for the palace, and then suddenly, we're going in. In the current energies, the King of Coins, yes, the Master Manager at work. At the heart of your reading, the Two of Wands, contemplating the future long term, followed by the Emperor, large and in charge, in control of the situation, strategizing. In the immediate future, we have the Ace of Coins, opportunity for you right there to build some something that you want, followed by the Hanging Man, that's a pause in the action there. And the Four of Swords, time out, pause, time out, getting our thoughts clear all over again. The overall energy of your reading, Pisces, the Seven of Wands, keeping that unwanted energy at bay, self-defense. And the reason we're here, because you're hard at work at, on something with this Eight of Coins, repetitive work, you're highly focused on something here that takes repetitive uh action, thought, energy, uh, investment, time, money, resources, all of it, all of your attention, uh, highly focused in this area. All right, let's take a look at this Seven of Wands and the overall energy spirit. What does Pisces need to know about this blocking energy? We don't want this, whatever's coming at us. What is the Seven of Wands, please? Temperance, Page of Wands, The Lovers, The Empress, I feel like what's happening here is you are these are energies that you're actually guarding these are all really good energies the balance the healing um, calling in the angel of moderation and patience around new interests new passions new things that you're giving your energy to to learn more about um, this energy is tied up on your heart it's it's uh, a major uh, focus and uh, Im of importance to you uh, having to do with perhaps your own balance your own um, empowerment with the Empress there you're guarding this energy fiercely you don't want any energies coming at you that would interrupt any of this stuff and you're fierce about it you are willing to get physical about it um, yeah, really strong energy protecting these energies here, showing me what's important to you at this point. Wow, it's strong. Look at that. Uh, the reason we're here, Hanging Man, it's coming up in the in the future part of your reading. 
and it just says uh, while we're on pause we are observing and taking a look at things from every angle so as you are guarded here you're guarded like in all directions you're you're protecting these energies <coughs> excuse me yes it's beautiful eight of coins it is a lot of work it takes a lot of focus to do this but you're doing it you're strong and I can see why, because they're wonderful energies to protect. Let's look at this Three of Wands in the recent past. Waiting on your ship to come in. Waiting on something to happen. What is this about, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about this Three of Wands? Three of Wands in the recent past. There it is. Eight of Cups. Turning our back on something. Walking away looking for something that's better for us, more fulfilling, more happiness. Eight cups is not enough. We want the sun, the most joyous, happiest card in the entire tarot on a large scale. You're looking towards bigger and better and brighter future. Eight is not enough anymore. And we have the chariot, the vehicle to victory. You are waiting on it. You're determined to head in this direction you have a lot of willpower uh, for this but there's something that you're waiting on hmm maybe just waiting on your own energy to shift through it you're turning your back on something you're heading towards the Sun it is the vehicle to victory you know it you see it you want it you're taking it but there's like this slight I don't know maybe you're finishing up some business uh, the reason we're here nine of Pentacles we're doing just fine on our own independent here uh, focusing on ourselves and our stability moving on to a brighter future okay let's take a look at the palace of swords where we go to gain the highest levels of clarity and truth about something why is the Palace of Swords here? What does Pisces need to know about this Palace of Swords in the recent past? You must have learned something over here, Pisces, having to do with Five of Cups, your losses, your past regrets, things that didn't work out, feeling down about them, depressed about them, the moon, buried emotions, perhaps, going to the palace to learn, to go in deep. What is still buried? What is still there? What do I still need to work on that needs to be revealed? That is still hidden in the depths below in my heart that's preventing me from making a decision. Some sort of buried emotions that I don't see. Still tied up to the losses that we are aware of. Just to going in deeper. Going in deeper for clarity of mind. To clear it up so that we can move forward in whatever little bit of indecision we might have might still be feeling about it wow interesting look at that underlying the reason we're here the queen of swords because you're ready to make a decision you're ready to make a declaration with clarity uh, you're ready to set new boundaries and rules and requirements for yourself this is laying down the law, but I feel like you need this information first to do it, to go into the depths of what's buried still in the emotions and the pain department, tied up to past losses. Perhaps that's what we're waiting on here, to move through the, fi it's like the final stages of the grief, if you will, final stages of whatever happened. It was so tied up to your heart and painful in the past that didn't work out. There was a lot of love there, but turned out not to be enough after a while. And uh, to move on, you're waiting to work through this tiny little bit. That's what it feels like. Last remnants of issue tied up to these losses and this pain. All right, let's take a look at the Knight of Swords, the final card in the recent past. This is uh, taking action swiftly yeah it's uh perhaps based on some knowledge that you've gained perhaps at the palace and now you're hopping on your high horse there and you're ready to move make that move pisces what is this about spirit knight of swords yes we have the three of pentacles that flew out followed by 
Look at that, the Ace of Swords. You got your clarity and now you're ready to make plans based on this clarity that you've gotten to take action. Your next steps, yes, yes. Your next steps towards something stable, something new you wanna build or even rebuild, but it's with this sense of Ace of Swords clarity. You're ready to make this decision. So that got cleared up. Wow, you've been working. Look at that energy moving swiftly here. The Eight of Wands, perhaps taking or having some sort of communication. Doesn't have to be, but what this definitely denotes is things taking off quickly. To start with plans based on some truth and clarity that you have, you're ready to move. You're not waiting anymore like back there. You're moving swiftly over here big time. The reason we're here, ooh, the devil. There is some shadow energy tied up to this, meaning some sort of unhealthy behavior, perhaps rushing uh, impulsively a little too fast with the Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. I'm not sure. That doesn't have to be it. But there's something tied up to it. Perhaps we will learn more as your reading commences. King of Coins in the current energies. What's going on? He's reliable, stable. Sex on the card doesn't matter. We just have to call it some pronoun, but take it, take the energy as it fits. This person, this archetype is a master of their resources and their manifestations and managing everything. Really stable and reliable in that department. Very grounded. King of coins, why is it here, please? King of coins. While well, Pisces is a hard at work, hard at work, protecting, defending, focusing, taking action. There we have it, the Queen of Wands, attraction. Eight of Swords, uh-oh, we don't want to attract that. That's confusion and stuck energy, feeling trapped. Two of Cups, I thought we were done with that back there. What is this? What is this soul connection that is here, this partnership perhaps, this attraction that you have, it's still here, it's still here to some degree, as practical as we try to focus on business at hand or entrepreneurial area, uh, we still find ourselves drifting back to thought about this connection on our hearts this soul connection it creates all kinds of confusion and stuck energy every time you you um it sneaks in it just does it just does that's why we have to stay in the seven of wands energy yes to block it block that block that lover's thing that's on your heart that brings in all this confusion why yeah, look at that Knight of Pentacles. It brings everything to what feels like a halt, like a slowdown. You're working on your business. You're so focused on this thing you're building for yourself, building all these pentacles, managing your pentacles. This is still a part of you. We just have to recognize it, that there's love there. Okay. Let's take a look at the Two of Wands, contemplating your future, long term, right here at the heart of your reading, some sort of decision, some sort of which path should I take? What does Pisces need to know about the Two of Wands? Okay, we have the Six of Wands, victory, success, crossing the finish line, reaching the goal, happiness, feeling good, the Emperor, controlling the situation large and in charge strategy to win winning strategies endings and transformations wow all right huh needing to transform some energy needing to end something the strategy in order to win in order to reach your goal and feel victorious and successful something needs to transform and you need to be in your power to do that reason we're here look at that nine of pentacles speaking of being in your power independence right here independence feeling good feeling strong uh, very abundant in your resources doing this on your own 
taking control of the situation, picking the right pathway to be victorious, to going through the endings you need to go through and the transformations you need to go through. These things take time. They take time. Just when we think we're done with them, they creep back in. Like this Queen of Wands attraction, they're still there in your mind. Maybe not physically, but in your mind, energetically, you feel uh, still tied up here. That's okay. You can feel it and not ha not do anything about it. Guard your energy over here, what you're working on, what you're interested in, what you want. Let's take a look at this Emperor. Coming up next in the current energy is the final card in the current energy is the Emperor, large and in charge over here. Feeling empowered. What will you do, Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about this Emperor? Ah, the conflicts, the battles, the Knight of Swords wanting to rush in and do something towards a new opportunity for stability, taking control of the situation, Knight of Pentacles, and then it comes to a halt. Ugh, we have a lot of uh, stop-go energy here. It's, con it's conflicting. It's, should I move quickly or, you know, move slowly? I don't know. There's choices to be made here, but you're conflicted about it over here is what you're showing me. Squabbles in your own mind. Perhaps even dealing with others that slow you down when you want to get going. The reason we're here, the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition. What does your intuition tell you about the speed at which you should go with this? take a look at the ace of coins this card right here is right here your next card we're clarifying I love it when that happens you guys it just happened with the Emperor and then we clarified the Emperor and now the ace of Pentacles all right ace of coins why is it here what does Pisces need to know about this opportunity sort of stuck between stop go go stop hurry slow down <laughs> speed up slow down maybe that's you know just par for the course the emperor can handle it show us the ace of coins please ace of coins there it is oh you get a little story here yes one two three four five six seven eight and nine ready six of swords there are no mistakes the most i've had was ten but we frequently get high numbers of seven, eight, and nine, and they, they seem to make sense. So let's, let's figure this out. Six of Swords, you're on this journey. You've left something behind. You're heading someplace new. You're not there yet. Seven of Cups, you're exploring all of your options here. You've got lots of choices, lots of ways to go to build stability. You are feeling stress and anxiety about whatever it is. It's part of sometimes sleepless nights and worry about this while we pick our pathway that's right at the heart of your reading this two of wands showing up again always making choices deciding which way to go it's this is telling us it's stressing you out here on your journey ten of cups is next blessings on your homestead blessings from above on your homestead is part of this ace of coins you'd like to uh, continue heading towards building stability on your homestead it would make you very happy it would fill up a, a cup of joy and satisfaction for you and it's tied up to the star it's a divine wish it's something really big here okay ace of cups is here as well yes that's that joy overflowing in your life new opportunity for stability and love and joy and happiness all tied up here on your homestead followed by the four of swords it's the final card coming up so we get to clarify that uh, and then page of swords pay attention 
pay attention. There's more to learn about this. We can take a closer look at this. There's a lot to learn about your situation here uh, as you get your thoughts clear about which way to go and calming your nerves and all that stuff. Nothing bad here. It's just showing you're dealing with some stressful energy as you make your choices. But we see how important it is to you with this Ten of Cups, Star, Ace of Cups, Ace of Coins, Four of Swords, taking frequent timeouts, meditations to keep your thoughts clear, to keep your energy calm, to do intermittent healing as you go along. Um, and I know that sounds weird, that phrase, intermittent healing. Uh, and you're, you're just, you're learning about this as you go. The reason we're here, strength. These, these energies are in your strength. It's not always easy, but you have strength on your side, helping you out here, helping you to tame your inner beast of those nine of swords, all those thoughts that come at you that confuse you. Strength is here to help you handle it, and you do. You handle it quite well. You say, well, I just need to take a time out. Well, I have some things to learn. I'll pay attention. I'll take a closer look. I know I'm heading to better places with the six of swords. I'm leaving... Uh, turbulence behind. I'm leaving battling behind. I'm leaving arguing behind and things that aren't working. Confusion behind. Alright. It's part of the journey. Part of the process. And Looks like you're going about it really well. Let's take a look at the hanging man next. On pause. Looking at things from all angles. Not taking really any action. What's going on with this pause please? Taking a pause. Frequent breaks. It looks like that's happening multiple times in your reading. Frequent breaks. You wait, then you take action. Then you might get an interruption, but then you transform some more and you're victorious and you take more action and then it pauses again. Knight of Swords back there and here you are in your journey just going through everything, taking pause when you need to, Four of Swords, and here we are, Hanging Man. Pause. Why is it here? What does Pisces need to know? Yeah, no wonder temperance is over here. This takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. And you do need to keep those energies protected. Because it's easy to lose patience or to get frustrated with all the pausing. Slow movement sometimes. So, on pause when, when it comes to communing, coming together with others in good times, three of cups, observing the situation, knight of wands, there we go, we, we have the desire to rush in and take action sometimes suddenly with that knight of wands, but then we pause, we take pause, three of wands, first card you showed up with back here, waiting, yep, you want to take action but you're waiting. You're looking at things from all the angles. Who do I want to commune with? How do I want to commune? When do I want to commune? When we commune? What do we want to commune about? How do I want it to go? Waiting to take this action. You feel the drive. You feel the passion. You feel the determination and the the energy bubbling up inside of you. Like you're, you're ready to make a move, but you pause. You keep it on pause. Reason we're here? Knight of Cups. You're feeling like you want to express yourself. You're that... You're feeling impulsive, but you're holding yourself back. And final card, speaking of holding yourself back, this is a timeout. This is taking a break. Perhaps you recognize these energies because you've been on pause just observing. The observer. Yes, the observer. Becoming aware. Taking the time to meditate. Four of Swords. Hanging Man. Becoming aware. Observing. Four of Swords. Hanging man, and now four of swords again. Four of, look at that. Contemplating the future, two of wands, paying closer attention, page of wands, four of swords, time out, getting your thoughts straight, meditating, three of wands, waiting, pausing until you gather all the information. You stay on this time out, four of swords, getting your thoughts straight, getting things clear, having moments of clarity that strike you. Show us. The Four of Swords and the final energies here, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know about this timeout? About this being on a break, taking a break, taking a rest, 
taking a rest whenever you feel like you need it taking that rest taking that break okay there it is oh oh didn't expect that look at that that was jolting jarring this tower just showed up exploded out of nowhere perhaps this is about getting your thoughts straight you get that epiphany right high priestess yes you're connected to your highest self you're going within you're meditating you're going in even deeper you get an epiphany and it sparks your intuition page of cups your heart is open you're ready to learn you're ready to learn you're coming at something with a really positive attitude this is a positive thought that jolts you intuitively and it, and, it, and it sparks a new opportunity to learn something more and you're open to it the reason we're here six of pentacles gaining balance gaining balance and, uh, and stability about a situation, about your mind. Gaining balance in the thoughts, balance in the intuition. As these moments of clarity like come to you suddenly, that's a cool feeling, the tower to the high priestess like that, it sure is. It's like, whoa, enlightenment, like suddenly. And then, you know, again, you're your mind and your heart is very open to learning about this these epiphanies that come to you very very cool no wonder you're protecting these energies so much these you're giving so much attention and work to this guarding of all of these energies over here it's really important to you to it will empower you you know it will you'll feel the most grounded and you'll be the most creative that you can be and the most empowered and, and attractive that you can be to the things that you want these things that are really important to you that bring you tons of balance and tons of healing and are of great interest again you're you're in learning mode here big time well that's what we got for you let's pull an oracle card from this beautiful blue angel oracle all right, and it'll have a short paragraph for me to read something from you here. This is a message directly from Spirit. They know what the cards say. There is no interpretation here. Spirit, what special message do you have for Pisces going through these energies at this time? What special message do you have for Pisces from the Blue Angel Oracle? Oh, there it is. Diva Magic. Deva, spelled D E V A, magic. Card number 42. And this is what it says Incredibly small. Nanoparticles exist in strange, invisible realms. We cannot see them because they are so incredibly small. And yet, these invisible objects hold immense power that influences and shapes our world. There is a visible reality and an invisible one. Both are equally real. Within the strange world of nanoparticles, there are worlds within flower cups, cities in buds, and universes in dewdrops. This card is asking you to look again. Something you've discounted or considered irrelevant may hold great potential and power. And then it says, infinite possibility exists in each atom of my being. Every particle of light is a seed of creation. A nanoparticle can become an endless sea of creativity. My life is a universe within a universe within a universe. Beautiful. All right, Pisces, that's what we have for you. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, subscribe and add your comment down below if you want and i look forward to reading for you next time take care guys